works. The mind thinks of an idea and subconsciously links you to another idea, to another idea, and eventually you get a map of thoughts, a mind map. A mind map starts with a central topic. This central topic is usually written or drawn in the middle, where ideas or solutions to this topic branch out one by one. But how can we make our mind maps easy to read? We can use categories to group ideas of a similar nature together. Here, we may categorize ideas on what size we want our mind map to be. It can be big or small. Having categories may help induce more ideas and thoughts in a particular direction too. When we think of how we may want to present the content of our mind map, we can think of ideas like words, or pictures, or a mixture of it. You can also have subcategories within main categories for complicated mind maps. Here are some examples of simple mind maps. What are some of the ways you can study? When coming up with categories, you can use questions like who, what, when, where, why, and how. Your mind will then form ideas that relate to these questions, like who do I study with, or when can I study? Or, if you are tasked with designing an object such as a table, you could ask yourself what are the features of the object you could change. These could include the material, the colour, the shape, and even the number of legs. Here are more examples on categories. Mind mapping is thus a great tool to help us generate ideas and present them in a way for easy reference. So have fun and start mind mapping. Mm -hmm.